Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you what I use. Oops, let me just turn that down. Sorry about the, the noise. I'm going to show you how I make a natural cleanser. Now this cleanser has many other uses and it's made with our ordinary, but I, not so ordinary, but powerful culinary thyme. And thyme can be a bit underrated because it has so many benefits. I'm just going to give you a little uh, idea about how powerful this culinary herb is. Now it can be used topically and I have been using it topically for years and I'll tell you about some of the things that I use it for. Now today I'm going to show you how I use it as a facial cleanser but I'm going to show you how it actually removes makeup and I've got on mascara a liquid liner today and it cleans it off really well. It deep cleanses, it's antibacterial in nature and it's also a kind of, he it's not a kind of, it is a healing herb. Now a few years ago I ran some workshops um, and there was a lady who was attending, she had a biopsy and she had a small puncture in her side and she showed it to me and it was weeping. It was a bit angry and sore. Now her doctor had said that she should just leave it alone and it come back in about a week if it continued. So I, I spoke to her and I said, why don't you try thyme water, which is actually just a thyme brew tea. And I'll show you how to make this in a moment. And she used it and the next week she came back, it, wasn't, it was not oozing. And the week after, the swelling and inflammation, redness and soreness had gone. Now, I've had a small injury today. I'll just show you what happened to my hand. In the, if you don't mind, Anthony, bringing up that picture. I had, as you can see, I've got a small puncture um, I was, uh, some of the things that I, I do um, in my own time is to support people with growing organic food. And there was a single father who I've been helping with his garden. Today I went there and I um, got sustained a small injury. This isn't the first time I've sustained an injury during gardening and I've punctured my hand or cut, sliced my hand with secateurs. And today I, I sustained this injury from a tool which left a small puncture on my finger. Now, I treated it by cleansing it with thyme water. The first thing to do would be, the sensible thing would be to run it under cold water to stem the bleeding and obviously compress it um, to close the wound which is what I did. But when I, I put a plaster over it for the time being, and then when I got home, I made myself a brew of thyme, um, which I call my thyme water or thyme cleanser. And I cleaned the wound and I put on a diluted amount of lavender oil. Now lavender essential oil is also bacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's excellent for taking down inflammation and soreness and calming down a wound. And it also took the pain away. And it has happened for me before when I had the secateur injury. It took the pain away. And if I've walked through a bed of stingy nettles, I have a lavender spray with some water, which I spray on, around my legs and ankles, which takes away the stinging sensation, which then relieves my body from wanting to itch and then have those kind of raised inflammatory type hives that you get with um, a stinging nettle. It takes it away completely. But today the, the focus of the topic is time. And I want to show you how you can make a very inexpensive but very effective deep cleansing antibacterial time cleanser. Now the first thing I do is to, um, I purchase uh, organic thyme. I have grown thyme. I didn't have any in the garden, 
but I bought some thyme which wasn't organic and I what I did was to soak it in um, bicarbonate of water about a teaspoon and some and some mineral water for about 15 minutes before rinsing my thyme and the reason I do that is just to remove any pesticides that might be remaining on my thyme just to get rid of the major pesticides and that's a good tip for your fruits and vegetables as well. Once I gave it a, a good rinse um, I transferred it to a pan. Let me show you what I did here. Over here I have a pan with some water and as you can see I have the thyme there. I brought this to a boil and as soon as it reached to a boil I turned it on a very low setting and I let it simmer gently for about five minutes. Now after the five minutes I allowed it to sit and steep. Now you can steep it for at least 10 minutes and when it is absolutely cool you can actually then strain it I've got quite a bit there. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to transfer it into this 100 ml glass jar. And there, this will stay in my refrigerator um, covered As airtight as possible and that will sit in my refrigerator for up to five to seven days no more um, if you store it uncovered in your refrigerator then you can expect it to last any t anything between 20 48 to 72 hours so let's get started on using the time cleanser I've pinned back my hair as you can see um, and I'm going to use I've just got some ordinary um, cosmetic cotton pads here so I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to make a start I'm actually wearing you might not be able to see in the camp pick it up in the camera but I'm I do wear a mascara and I wear a eyeliner um, and I use a very dark mascara. I've got barely any lashes. <laughs> so you just dip your, your um, pad into your time cleanser and literally, just like you would use a cleanser, place it across the eye and wipe away. There you can see, let me put it under the camera, that I am in fact wearing dark liquid makeup or mascara and I've got um, a liquid liner on there as well and I'm going to keep wiping away wipe it on the front wipe it on the back take another one it's a little bit wet let me squeeze it out a little bit just Give it another wipe. Now, while I'm doing that, I want to show you what my hand looks like right now after having treated it with cleansing it with the thyme water or cleanser, if you want to call it that. Don't know if you can pick that up in the camera. Am I too close there? Right, so look at the puncture. Um, if you can remember what it looked like in the other picture, it looked a little bit red and a little bit more sore and, and, and raw. It's actually formed a scab. And not only has it formed a scab, it's obviously stopped bleeding because it's formed a clot. There's no swelling or inflammation because the thyme and the lavender has taken care of that. And it's already healing. And I will leave it like that now it to heal further just air it and just keep cleansing it and put my diluted lavender right let me show you something right let me give that another wipe this is my second clean look at the pad here 
This is my second clean of this one eye. I'm going to give it one more clean. It's almost off. It's almost gone. This was the first pad. That's the second. It's, it's really good. I mean, because it's so hard to get off makeup, as we know. Um, and this is so, such an inexpensive, safe way to actually get rid of your makeup and very gentle. When you use it as a full facial cleanser, it actually hydrates your skin. It gives your skin a glow. I'm, I've only got moisturizer on and I'm going to do my whole face after I've, I've taken this off. I'm wiping it and wiping it even more than I would normally because I want to show you I'm really going in and getting this off. Now look at the pad. Look at that. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, that's in three pads. I'm sure I could have done that in two. <laughs> now, we'll start with the other eye. And it's really good for people with sensitive skin, especially if you have broken skin with like eczema and psoriasis. Um, it can help with the inflammation and repair of the skin, um, cleaning of the skin, because it's a great antibacterial cleanser. Um, this is the second eye, as you can see, with the pad, where I've got the makeup on. I'm now going to turn it over, and I'm just going to give it a wipe on the other side. Just wipe away. Right. Now, I'm going to show you the back of the second pad, right? This is when I first cleaned it with the second eye. That's the second wipe um, cleanse on the other side of the pad. So I'm going to use one more cotton pad just to get rid of any residual mascara and liner. And it doesn't tighten your skin when you use it as a cleanser. And it's so cooling. So it's so refreshing on the skin. Um, so it doesn't dry the skin like a soap or, or any of your or cleansers if it tightens a bit. It doesn't have that kind of stringent tone in action, but it does tone, which is really good. Now, look at this. I'm going to go on the back and front of this pad. Now, this is my third pad for, actually, is it the third? How many have I used? This is my second on my second eye. Maybe I had less on there, but look, as you saw before, it was completely dark with the makeup and now it's virtually clean. So that's all my makeup removed in a, in a few sweep, sweeps. I'm going to now cleanse my whole face. And like I said, guys, this does not dry out your skin. It actually gives a glow and it feels soft when you have used this time cleanser. It's really, I mean, it's so brilliant. I think I just kind of came up with the idea just because, you know, having studied herbs, understanding their benefits through herbalism, my studies through herbalism and my culinary experience as a natural chef, natural allergy chef, and understanding their properties, and growing food as a qualified organic food grower. I've studied so much about herbs and plants um, and the foods that we should eat and the type of herbs that we can use on our skin. Why not? So that's actually the pad after having cleansed one side of my face. My skin's not particularly dirty but I have been out today you know you can see the difference from there to here when I first started cleaning my face so I only need to use another pad just to cleanse the other side and it feels really good on my skin and this will be excellent for you guys who, who are suffering from eczema believe you me it is going to be a game changer for you That's it, really.
you know, I could probably do my neck as well, right? My neck might be a bit dirtier than my face. Let's go down there. Oh. I've been out and about today, <laughs> um, digging around in the garden and uh, doing a few fixtures there as well. So, yeah, you know, you can see that the pad is slightly soiled where, you know, that's just everyday um, dirt from being out and about. So my skin is now f is slightly damp, but it's feeling absolutely refreshed. It's a real deep clean without feeling that astringent feel, that dry type feeling, that astringent type toner that stings because it's so gentle. And you can also have it as a tea. Um, you know, have it hot as a tea. It's very good for arresting respiratory issues. I had a doctor's appointment a few years ago where, because I had lots of, I was getting lots of eczema, um, asthma attacks. And um, I had a, hosp uh, a doctor's appointment the next morning, but that, the night before, I had got a really bad on onset of an asthma attack. And I did not know what to do. I didn't have an inhaler. And uh, I remembered uh, the properties of herbal, t uh, of, of thyme tea, and how it can actually calm down inflammation in the lungs as well to arrest respiratory issues. And I took some tea, and within minutes, I'm going to tell you, it was probably within a minute that I felt my lungs open and I was able to breathe easy and sleep like a baby that night after having thyme tea. That's how powerful this herb is. But you may not be able to pick this up in the camera, but my skin feels really, really fresh and soft and squeaky clean right now. I'm going to just add a little bit of my um, dermazine I've got here that I hand make, particularly for people who are suffering with skin issues like eczema and psoriasis, any inflammation or dry skin, irritation, itching. And Dermazine Velvet is quite a rich formula that I make for those with severe dry skin conditions. I'm just taking a little bit of it. I'll just show you the texture, actually. Have a look under the camera. Now, if you happen to tune into my um, video yesterday if you, um, on the live, you can play it back where I showed you how to make your own moisturizer and your own deodorant. It's an all in one. So I'm just gonna put that, that smells so beautiful. I have in my Dermazine Velvet neem oil, Jehovah oil, vitamin E, lavender, frankincense, um, if I haven't said neem oil, neem oil as well, which is antifungal and antibacterial and coconut and shea as the emollients and that smells absolutely beautiful <laughs> my skin feels beautiful and i'm feeling refreshed again i think but i believe somebody has a comment let me see who's online thank you for joining me um hello tyra tyra says greetings carol and anthony thank you um anthony is my son for those who are viewing that do not know he's on the technical side of things handling the camera the camera and tyra also says so this is the this is the why you are always glowing carol thank you for sharing your secret i'm going to share all my secrets tyra there's so much more to come thank you very much for the compliment and before we uh, tyra says before we were created everything was created and prepared for us let's not forget tyra that's absolutely a true statement thank you so much for joining me today um, please do watch the video from yesterday where I show you how to make your own natural deodorant using lemongrass essential oil and hydrating body butter. And I'll be back live each day to give you more natural living tips, information to help you along your natural living journey. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow.